Hello science fans. Picking your favourite chromosome is a little bit like picking your favourite child. Everyone has one, but no one really admits to it. If I had to pick a favourite chromosome, it would not be chromosome 18. At 76 million base pairs, it's one of the more stunted, shriveled chromosomes in the human genome, and it only harbours around 350 genes, making 18 the least dense for genes on chromosomes in our genome. So of those 76 million base pairs, almost none of it is encoding actual genes, and that's the same across the whole human genome. Imagine that these lovely fairy lights with a whole human genome. Well, the coding sections only account for less than 3%, rather like this. So, what is the rest of it actually doing? Well, lots of it are genetic control panels, switches that turn genes on and off, because they have to come on and off at exactly the right time. But large parts of the genome appear to be doing nothing whatsoever. We used to call it junk DNA, the hangover of four billion years' worth of evolution. But there is a difference between junk, the stuff that we keep in the attic that might have a function, and rubbish, the stuff that we throw away. And recently we've been discovering that lots of junk might be doing something after all, although we're not sure what. And that's the reason that we have to keep on sequencing more and more people's genomes, including crappy old chromosome 18. Because I think we're going to find out that some of that junk might be rather useful. That's science, folks. Happy Christmas. Thank you.